Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Dream Set List, the show we're doing throughout the month of March, where we pick a favorite band and give you that dream set list that we would love to see. Any era, any lineup, any batch of songs, we are in the driver's seat. Today in the co-captain's chair, Mr. Jamie Laszlo and Sydney. What's up? <laughs> Hello to you from both of us. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I uh, hope you're doing well, my friend. We, uh, yes, I'm ready to do this crazy set list. Yes, we would have so, never uh, happened in a million years. I know, right? Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, it was Jamie's idea to do the Beatles, and I was like, All right, I'm game for that. And then the more I thought about it, it's like, Well, this is pretty difficult because, uh, you know, the Beatles are one of those bands that probably have very few bad songs, so many beloved songs, and most of us who are alive and talking about them probably have never seen them live. Right. So it's like really the sky's the limit. We've never seen them. So we're going to create any set list you create is a dream set list. Right. So uh, yes. I'm going to have Jamie kick us off and run through his entire concert that he has put together here. Yes. So this is um, the only thing missing from this is wizards and dragons, because this is a big time fantasy going on here. In 1976, this is how it all starts. It's got to start somewhere because this isn't like a 1966 concert. I think that's the last time they really toured. That's or what whatever you would call that. It, it wasn't really touring as we know today. Right, right, right. Touring like as we know today didn't really start until about 1969. So they were really never part of that circuit. But in 1976, Lauren Michaels went on Saturday Night Live. And he offered the Beatles like around $5,000 to do three songs on SNL. And as the story goes, Paul was at John's apartment in New York. And for a half a second, they almost did it. Almost did it. So my show starts right there with them actually doing it. Going on SNL, it sparks something. They have a blast. They hang out with everyone after the show. There's good vibes. Then for the next year, rumors start bubbling up. They're being seen together. Are, is there a reunion that's going to happen? A new album, maybe a tour? Well, it's just all rumors until the end of 1977. They said, we're doing four shows. Four shows in America and one in England. So the four shows are LA, Chicago, New York, and of course, Pittsburgh, because that's my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's looking Pittsburgh. Why Pittsburgh? Of all places, they're, right? <laughs> they're coming to Pittsburgh, Three River Stadium. And so this is a big deal now because people are traveling, you know, from like Wisconsin and Vermont to come see this show. And it's going to be a long show and it's going to be pretty big production wise. So Three River Stadium. And look, I even made a ticket. So here's our ticket. <laughs> it's a Laszlo Pardo production. There you go. $20, which was pretty steep back then for a yeah, concert. <laughs> yeah. So, and it's got uh, the terms and conditions on the back. Terms and conditions. No refunds. If you're dumb enough to spend $20 on a fake concert. Two of the members are actually deceased. And it's not even 1978, it's 2021, you moron. But there's the concert ticket anyways. So here we are at Three River Stadium. You got the four guys in front and you got a mini orchestra in the back. You got four guys on horns, French horn, tuba, clarinet, trombone. And of course they're dressed in the Sergeant Pepper uniform. You got a string section and behind the string section, you got a percussionist, second drummer, Ray Cooper back there. And he's got his chimes and his bongos and, you know, he's bald. It's, 1970, not, uh, it's 1978, so he's not completely bald. He's got a little hair in the back, but he's left. got his glasses. <laughs> yeah, he's got his glasses on. But the show opens with all that dark out. You don't really see much of that. And it's just the four guys, old school style. And they go one, two, three, four, right into I saw her standing there. We're gonna do all the early stuff now with just the four guys. My whole concert's in chronological order, pretty much. Okay. Then they go into Love Me Do. 
All My Loving. And these first seven songs don't take long. We're talking 20 minutes. Yeah, they're all two and a half minutes long. Yeah, right? yeah, they blow right through them. Day Tripper, Eight Days a Week, and Yesterday, Slow Down Just a Bit, and then Into Help. So there's your little old school set. And then it's just the four guys still, but they go into uh, try to see it my way. We can work it out. But during we can work it out, the lights start coming up in the back a little bit. And you see the silhouette, of Ray Cooper, he's standing there with his tambourine. You see the four guys in their cheesy uniforms they were forced to wear. <laughs> and you see the strings in front of Ray and they're adding a little, new parts were written for the strings and the horns and the percussion for the song. It adds depth to the, th to the song. And then they go into Nowhere Man with the full strings and percussion and everything like that. And the song sounds bigger and fuller. Everyone's being blown away right now, Three River Stadium. Then Good Day Sunshine, full band, of course. And then Eleanor Rigby, Rigby with just the strings and the Beatles harmonizing over the strings. And then they are going to pull this off. They're going to do Tomorrow Never Knows. Damn it. <laughs> and there's going to be all kinds of swirling lights on the stage. And uh, Ringo's going to keep the constant beat while uh, Ray Cooper's adding like a backwards percussion kind of sound to it. And the strings are going and uh, they're pulling it off. And it's like a big acid trip on the stage. And then they go into... Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. And the four guys get the shine in their little uniforms. And Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And When I'm 64 with just the horns, nothing but the horns. So we had nothing but the strings. Now we have nothing but the horns. Almost sounds like a New Orleans kind of vibe to the song. And then Ringo comes out in front and he does with a little help from my friends. And he's doing his Ringo dance, you know, <laughs> and I get high or doing his little higher thing. And that's his moment to shine. Then he goes back behind the drums. John goes to the piano. There's a little mini grand piano there, baby grand, whatever they call it. Goes to the piano and he starts a day in the life. And there's two parts in this song where the strings go nuts. Right before they say, wake up, got out of bed. Comb the what's it got out of bed, put a comb across my head. Right before that part, the strings are going nuts, and then right at the end. So above the stage, there is a strobe light focused on the crowd. And the strings are going nuts at the end of the song. And on the last note, mm, lights go out on the stage. And then right for that piano note, that's that strobe light goes boom on the crowd. And as the note fades, the strobe light fades and it's darkness. Now you got a bunch of women that they were peeing their pants in 1964. Now they're peeing their pants in 1978, <laughs> almost for a different reason. <clears throat> so now it's, it's darkness for a little, you know, just a few seconds longer than you expect. And you're thinking, did they blow a fuse on that? What's going on? Spotlight comes down. John is still at the piano. He goes into Imagine. Then that spotlight goes off. Another spotlight goes on to Paul, or I'm sorry, John. And uh, I'm sorry, goes off of John Lennon onto Paul McCartney, and he does an acoustic slower version of Band on the Run. Wow. <clears throat> spotlight. Goes off of Paul, goes on to George Harrison. He's standing there with a the guitar. He goes into My Sweet Lord. For the first half of the song, it's acoustic. Then the band starts to join in behind him. And the second half of the song, he's doing My Sweet Lord. And the rest of the Beatles are doing that Hare Krishna. <laughs> and they jam that out. 
I'm on page two and I didn't turn the page yet. And then the first set is over. So you got 20 minutes, go get a drink, go use the bathroom and come back. First song on set two, back in the USSR. So things are uppity, people are rocking out. And then they go into the dreamy Dear Prudence. And then while wow, my guitar gently weeps. And there's four shows. One of the shows, surprise appearance. Nobody knows which one it's going to be. Wherever he's closest to, Eric Clapton shows up on one show and does the solo. <laughs> Has yes. to, right? Yes. Hope it's Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> And then they go into Hey Jude, which I almost forgot to put on my set list because it's not on an album and I was going through my albums. So that got everyone singing along. And then they bust in to come together. And then the Golden Slumbers medley, starting with Sun King, Mean Mr. Mustard, Polythene Pam. She came in through the bath bedroom window, Golden Slumbers, carry that weight in the end. Can Ringo do that uh, little drum solo live on stage? You better practice. <laughs> <laughs> so it ends, that ends with, uh, you know, and in the end, the love you get is equal to the love you give. And then the lights go out again. And everyone's sitting there thinking, well, that must be it. That's gotta be it. Lights, the house lights aren't coming on though. Maybe it's not it. And you see on stage movement going on. Silhouettes in the darkened stage and their stage hands rolling out these big things. You can't tell what it is. And then a backdrop drops behind everyone. And you can kind of tell it's like a skyline on the backdrop. And the stage lights come up and what they rolled on the stage are these big fake brick walls. Some of them have windows, some of them have doors, and there's fake chimneys, little steel chimneys, and maybe a banister. And behind them is the skyline from the rooftop of Apple Studios in London. And you see all those old British roofs, and they recreate that performance on the roof and go in to get back. Don't let me down and I've got a feeling. And they jam out, I got a feeling. They jam it out a little longer than normal. And then, thank you, good night. And people are going nuts. They're going, Beatles, Beatles. Oh, they're, no one ever did a Beatles chant before because they weren't doing that in 1966. No, they were, definitely were not. <laughs> so here's the first official Beatles, Beatles. It doesn't even sound right, but they're doing it. Beatles, Beatles. And the lights come back on and they go in to let it be. People are waving their arms. People are hugging each other. Strangers are kissing strangers. I'm getting choked up over a concert that never happened. <laughs> and it's magical. Whisper. Words of wisdom, let it be. And that is it. Good night, Pittsburgh. You've been great. <laughs> There's the show. <laughs> what do you think, Sid? Wow. Nico. How do I follow <laughs> that up? <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> yeah. So uh, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my time machine today, because why not? because I've used it so much during this series. Uh, There's no other way to do it with the Beatles. With the Beatles, there really is no other way to do it, right? So we, we actually, we have no choice. So um, I'm going to go back to 1969. <clears throat> so basically in my dream scenario, the band have announced, well, they released Abbey Road, right? They have announced that uh, this is going to be our final new studio album. Meanwhile, we haven't heard anything about Let It Be yet, right? Um Here's our studio album. We have decided to retire as a band. So they are going to plan some final shows, okay, which is something we really didn't get back then. So, uh, and they've decided they're going to do these final shows leading up into the Christmas season. So my particular show is going to be December 23rd, 1969 at Madison Square Garden. So this 
kind of the final, final pre-Christmas show in celebration of our career as a band and the Abbey Road album and some surprises. So basically the band, and I'm gonna kind of do mine, uh, I'm, I've kind of envisioned mine as they're going to play snippets from a bunch of albums that are my favorites. So I'm not, in my scenario, we're not gonna get a lot of those really, really early songs just because I kind of favor the later stuff. So right. since it's my rules, my set, right? So uh, yeah. we're gonna start off with a couple tracks from Revolver. They're gonna break into the show with Tax Man, okay? And then from there, they're gonna go into uh, She a Said, George she song. Said. What's start that? off with a George song. Yes, exactly. <laughs> she said, she said, okay. And then uh, got to get you into my life. All right, that's gonna kind of open the show. From there, we're gonna go to You Won't See Me from Rubber Soul. From there, we're gonna go I'm Looking Through You. Okay, so we're kind of moving our way through the catalog. Uh, then we're gonna get some new songs from Abbey Road. So we're gonna get a little come together. Gotta have something, right? I want you. She's so heavy. Like a metal song. Almost. Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then a little, here comes the sun. Right. Okay. So there's some snippets from the, uh, the Abbey road album, but wait, we've got some surprises for you. So here's where they're going to announce that, well, you know what, we've actually put together some songs that we recorded uh, earlier in the year that we're actually going to release uh, after we're done playing these final shows. So here they're going to launch into let it be, the long and winding road and get back. As I a, feel bad for anyone using the bathroom during let it be going. I'm not listening to these newer songs. I'm going to the bathroom. Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I th you know what I think back then, I think audiences were a little more, t more tolerant of newer songs yeah. than they are today. Right. So yeah, I think yeah. back then that would have been, that would have been okay. So uh, from there, we're going to go uh, Ringo's going to sing a little yellow submarine and then we're going to get all you need is love. Okay. From there, we're going to take a dip into the White Album. So uh, why don't we do it in the road? Get a little bluesy, right? Get some guitars uh -huh. going on there. From there, we're going to crank it up even more. We're going to go into a little Your Blues and then have a little hell Helter Skelter. Uh. And finishing off this part of the set with uh, Revolution. Okay. Nice. After a little break, the band's going to come back out. They're going to tackle some songs, some favorites from the Magical Mystery Tour album, Strawberry Fields. All You Need Is Love, Penny Lane, Hello, Goodbye, one of my favorite Beatles songs, and a little Magical Mystery Tour title track. From there, got to play some Sgt. Pepper, right? So we're moving into the psychedelic era here uh, with a little help from me friends, as well as Loosing the Sky with Diamonds. And then we're going to go back to that new album, Abbey Road, and we're going to play the wonderful medley. You Never Give Me Your Money. Sun King, me, Mr. Mustard, Ply theme Pam, Polly theme Pam, sorry. She came in through the bathroom window, golden slumbers, carry that weight and the end. But no, it's not the end, of course. The garden is going absolutely berserk, right? Five minutes we're waiting for the band to come back out. They do. They launch into While My Guitar Gently Weeps, but of course, joining them on stage. Mr. Eric Clapton, got to happen, sure. right? Right. From there, we're going to go prac back pretty far, probably the oldest song in, in, uh, in the catalog on my set uh, for a little help. And then you got to have yesterday, got to have yesterday. Uh, then we're going to throw in Hey Jude. Everybody's going to be singing. Lighters are going to be going, la, 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 la. Everybody's doing it. Uh, and then we get the unforgettable day in the life but we're not going to end it on that kind of like melancholy, somber note because the band is going to finish up this extraordinary final show ever with Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Thank you for Hi. joining everybody. Good night. We Beedle. hope that you've enjoyed Beedle. the show. <laughs> yeah, you, late, you named a lot of songs. I'm like, how did I not have that? But I can't have 62 songs. Yeah, well, you know what it is. It's like it depends on how far back in the catalog you want to go. So I, I yeah, if I decided to to include a lot of earlier stuff, man, this would have been a four hour show. So yeah. um, I had she's so heavy, but I scratched out and put it in the Hey Jude. I gotta so, have Hey Jude though. Yeah, I gotta have Hey Jude.
So, I mean, you know, either way you look at it uh, and no matter what set you create, it's going to be a good one because like I said, most of us never yes. had a chance to see them. So, um, yes. And I batted out those old songs real fast. Get them out of the way. Yeah. Make it well, old school totally style. Like a minute and a half, two and a half minutes tops. That's it. I was trying to think in my mind, is there a lighting or some kind of something that could be done to make them look black and white? <laughs> on stage <laughs> i was thinking of putting them in tan suits or gray suits but how would they take that off to go into the other song so i just dealt with it yeah and in, in in your scenario what 70 late 70s i guess at that point in time they they had the screens above the stage or whatever so they probably could have ran early footage of them from you know like yeah or whatever in the background but definitely probably not for mine but um right. so that could have been and they could have had ed, uh ed sullivan the beetle on the screen <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go shit let me write that in ed. there you go <laughs> <laughs> but i think either scenario is cool because you know one is like one would be the final show and then yours would be the reunion show we never thought we'd get, right? So I think in either, right. either case, it's pretty cool. Um, yes. And, you know, if we would have had a third person join us here, they would have been cool if they would have done, like, like an early show. Like yeah. They were still playing live a lot, and the, all the, the, the teenage girls came screaming and all that kind of stuff, yeah. you know, kind of like what you're seeing behind you on your TV screen, right? Right. And it wouldn't matter what they played because you couldn't hear over the girls. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it, everybody. A uh, a little uh, Tuesday morning with the Beatles. Breakfast with the Beatles, right? Yes. Yeah. Dream set list. So uh, I want to thank uh, Jamie and Sid for joining us here this morning. Yeah. Sid's looking like uh, not too interested in this whole conversation. Yeah, I, I know. He's probably like, "What? Are you, who are you talking to? There's no one here. <laughs> <laughs> Total disinterest there. It's like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to look at the camera. He wants That's me to open the windows. I will after this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh thanks everybody for watching make sure you put uh, in the comments below your dream set list for the beatles and uh, stay tuned for more dream set list shows coming up uh we're running out of days in march but we'll be filling up every single one of them with more of these so stay tuned for more visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org we're on facebook we're on twitter of course we're here on youtube all the damn time uh jamie will be joining us tonight on uh, another edition of in the prog seat along with uh, a bunch of other folks so stay tuned for that the uh, topic is all about those prog bands from the 70s who either had a hard time moving into the 80s or figured out how to do it the correct way so we'll be talking about like a, a bunch of bands that kind of tried to make that transition some successfully some not so yeah. successfully so tune in later on for that and so much more here on the channel and uh, we'll see you all later on take care for jamie laszlo i am pete pardo bye-bye <laughs>